Welcome to Unit Transitioning to IT Career. In our last video, we discussed how to start IT career as a student. In this video, we will talk about specifically people that are actually transitioning from one career to IT career. Now, you're already working in some type of uh, environment where you are an accountant or maybe you're a custom service or anything, etc., etc. So basically, I'm talking about people that are already working right now. So you're, you're trying to get into this IT field and now you're looking for information because it is a little bit different than how students are going to approach versus how you're going to approach. Another group that we get so many questions and email that I am over 40 or I am over even 50, do I still get a chance to become an IT pro? And we'll talk about that. And another one is basically like me, how I came to US and now I needed some skills, quickly learning the skills. I was not able to compete with the people who are already good with the language and even know some of the the terms or some of the tricks to really get into this kind of stuff. So I learned it the hard way, but now I'm able to share that with people who are coming to this country or maybe other countries. It's not just US. You could be going from US to Germany and other places and you could be feeling the same low confidence like I was feeling. So you could be in this situation and this video will be also for you. And then there's another side of uh, this is that we have so many people that go to army and then they spend their time over there and then when they come to civilian life um, they are struggling compared to the civilians over here. So this is another group that I get a lot of questions and emails and voicemails and I try to help them out. So when it comes to this group versus students, I personally think that this group have advantage over students. One of the biggest thinking that goes around in students' mind that we do not have any experience and do they don't have experience working in a corporate level or anywhere in a business environment. Now your biggest backup for yourself is your own job right now because you already know how to work in a business environment you are working under managers you're working with managers and you are a manager it doesn't matter where you are but you have that skill you have that working skill working experience that you can really utilize when you start applying for jobs and you can definitely perform better than a student in interview the reason is simple because you have been through this stuff and when you have been through this you these are the things it's kind of like repeating yourself but you're just presenting yourself now in a different way so when it comes to telling this group this group is kind of the first group that's going to be asking me this question that who are you and why are you saying this that I'm going to make your life easy and make it so easy for you to become an IT pro what do you have to even show now this is where you need to do your search by going to jobskillshare.org and if you just go to jobskillshare.org and just go to slash blog this is where people like you and I they came they came here when they were taking these courses five years ago, four, three, two, one. How, how many years this platform has been in here? I tell a lot of people one thing. If you want to give back to this platform, please write a blog about yourself. Please tell me how did it start it and where you are right now because so many people in your in your situation they're looking at this information right now and they have when they look at this information they get confidence. So keyword confidence at this moment only what you need is just reading the courses going through the courses practically doing these things in the labs and then building that confidence by coming to blogs you will find out people like you who are taking these courses like for example this is Raul Thomas he is working in a Best Buy and when he started these courses this is what he says I'm not going to go over the whole article you can go over it by going to blogs and now it seems like I was being chased by companies now this is him writing this I'm not writing this so this is the the confidence this is the level of uh, conference that this person have built by going to the courses and finishing and now he's getting this from Best Buy to become an IT pro 
Another example that I can show you is a person in my previous career was serving over six years in the U.S. Army. This is just one example and there's so many in the blog section. And that's where I am going to reply back that this is my answer to you if you're having this thought that who are you to even say that I'm going to make your life easy because I have created these courses in a way that is going to help you when you go to the interview not only it will make you make your confidence level go really high but at the same time you are going to learn things just like an IT pro because in this category I know that you don't have the time like student or you cannot be as aggressive like students so the question is simple I'm not going to suggest you to go back to school or go back to colleges and spend that time and money I'm going to only specifically tell you what courses you need to take and use your own experience and some templates that we're providing to people like you and students to actually land a job so in summary you could be in this category you can be in this category or this or the last one this one or any other categories that I have not added over here you will find someone like you in the blog section so we all know that time is important for you and again I'm not going to suggest you to go to college or uh, take any of the courses like that but you will have a specific route that you're going to take so let me show you what you will be doing next to get started. It does not matter what whatever category you are in, you should be now confident enough to get started. Practically, what is your next step? If you are one of these people right now that you have decided that I want to move forward, then your next step is going to be clicking on real world daily scenario. In this session unit, I have compiled daily day to day work in each video. Each video represents different type of work. For example, working on a daily basis, basic stuff like a help desk, uh, questions and answers, and then going to like a hardware issues, then some are software based issue. This unit is basically creating an image in your mind that after you finish the courses, this is the type of work you're going to be doing. So this is a, a kind of like a pathway for students and, and anyone who is trying to transition, you're coming to one place now you came from one place students came from one place you came from one place and now you are joining your uh, route together and this is where you will be deciding that that now show me what you do in your in your real world IT career and that's where I compiled this session and you can go down and you will see the comments from other people that are sharing their uh, comments with us in this session so make sure you go over that and after that it's going to be some of your information that we need from you or someone else that you can come here and introduce yourself and you can see a lot of people have done that so you can come down and just write about yourself or you can share some information about your current or previous job you can do that then your practical step will start from here where now it's the learning process where can I actually start the learning process which we have been talking about from all the way from here to down here and remember I promise that from here to down here you will either decide do you want to do an IT career you want to go for it or you're not gonna go for it this is the moment you're gonna either stop or you're gonna continue so if you are going to continue then you're going to click on what courses to take this is a nice pathway that I have created so now in that session I am going to make a special video just for this to explain each and every course and how some things are new and some things are older. Thank you for watching this video and see you in this session.